How about a little Bitcoin, a little Ethereum? All right, so Bitcoin, we almost got to resistance today. We were looking for um, probably resistance that center line, 43,000 or so. Bitcoin stuck in a little range. Interestingly, it is actually one of the uh, quieter things these days. You could say uh, the maturation of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has certainly matured, right? And it's not moving like, you know, 10% a day like it used to. So I'm still kind of cautious on this on the downside. I mean, you know, you've got VWAP from the high resistance. Um, Sharp moves down. Uh, look for resistance back there near 43,000. Ethereum, same thing, still cautious here. Um, VWAP to VWAP, VWAP from the high, resistance, right? 2022 VWAP support. This is one where it could be an interesting short setup back near 3,300, okay? That's just the 618 of this latest leg down. Um, you can see here, I've also got, you can see this trend line that goes back to the May and September highs. And that's been key, like, you know, support, 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 break, good night, resistance. So to me, this keeps me kind of on the defensive with Bitcoin looking lower, uh, or sorry, with Ethereum. Um, but yeah, both Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, their trend characteristics are kind of negative right now uh, with the longer term moving averages and all that good stuff. Um, so I wouldn't just be like jumping right in and assuming that we go higher. Uh, yeah, actually lean towards the short side setups again here near 3300. Don't forget, we've got, if you go to my, if you go to Twitter, my Twitter page is at Jamie Setley, just my name, but I've got the link on there to our prop, our prop trading program, ScandinavianMarkets.com slash get funded. Again, check that out. Okay. Um, this is going to be, um, you know, we've had, excuse me, we've had, uh, you know, a, a lot of questions here. We've, you know, kind of revamped the program. So come check it out. You can read all about it. Um, essentially, you know, you can get funded with up to $2 million. Um, you can get funded with far less, of course. Um, there's an assessment fee. Once you pass that, you do get funded. There's no time constraints or time limits like other programs in which you have to make a certain amount, a certain amount of time. Uh, trading does not work like that, right? Everyone's different. Um, there are drawdown limits, of course, um, and there are tar targets that you do need to hit, but there's, but you don't, have to, you don't have to hit it within a certain amount of time, okay? If it takes you six months, fine. It takes you a year, fine. If it takes you a month, great, right? But there is no, um, there is no time limit like other programs have. So come check that out. 